Hi, so in this video I want to give you a quick introduction to links and how to build your first links. I want, to, I want you to understand what is a link, okay? Where can you place links? Examples of links being built and where you can get your first links. But before that, uh, I want you to understand that there are three ways of building links. You, uh, you can build them manually, which is safe but slow. Safe because you are the one choosing the places where you're getting links from, so if you know the best places, it will be completely safe. Slow because it's a manual process and all manual processes are slowly slow. Then you can outsource them, also outsource your link building, uh, which is fast and safe only if you know where to buy. So if you go, for example, on Fiverr and buy a uh, hundred links for five dollars, uh, the quality will be trash. So it, it's only safe to buy links and to outsource them if you know what you're doing. And I'll have a module uh, later on the course, which is just about outsourcing so you can understand how to evaluate sellers and how to evaluate if the links are good or not. But basically, if you're paying under 10 cents per link, it's probably not a good link. Now, the last way to build links is using, is using tools, which is risky and I do not recommend. Some tools are GSA, SENUC, which you've probably heard about, but basically these are tools where you push a button and the links are built automatically. This is risky and I do not recommend you use them only in the right places. But again, I'll have a video detailing what GSA is, for example, and you understand when to use these uh, softwares. But the idea here is you need to build links manually and outsource them if you know how to do it. Now I want to explain to you uh, the types of links that exist. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna click each one of these and show you an, a live example. But before I do so, I want to explain to you what what these are. So comment links. It's pretty straightforward. Is a, a link on a comment of a website. So imagine you have a post and someone comments and leaves a link back to their to their website. That's a comment link. I'll show you in a bit how they actually are. Web 2.0s. Uh, they allow you basically to create a website in a blog uh, in a blog style. So example links from Blogger, from Weebly, Tumblr. Uh, Wix, okay, so these are Web 2.0 properties. Again, I'll show you in a bit uh, a live example. A guest post, uh, which is basically when you contact the owner of a site and ask them if they want to place your article on there. So a guest post because you're acting as a, a guest who wants to post on a certain website. But uh, again, I'll show you a live example in a bit and I'll have um, several videos uh, regarding um, this uh, link, build link building technique, which is guest posts and how to approach people and how to approach website owners to, uh, in fact, post your, your link over there. Then you have uh, .edu and .gov links, which are links from educational uh, or governmental sites, which in theory are the most powerful sites. Uh, so it's quite difficult to get links from these, uh, these domain extensions. And again, I'll show you an example in a bit. Then we have social media links, which is, again, pretty straightforward. It's links from say Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, so basically links from social platforms. Then we have all of these which I put together, which are video links, audio, article, image, slide, and slide links, uh, which are basically links from, let's say video links, are basically links from uh, places where they allow you to submit your videos. So YouTube, Vimeo, Flickr, uh, for example, audio links are links from music sharing platforms. So SoundCloud, Spotify, where you can upload a, a, a music track and then leave a link and place a link back to your site. Then we have article, which are PDF links. Basically, this is, these are websites that allow you to share uh, PDFs. So you can upload the PDF there with a couple of links inside of it. So you're getting link juice back to your site. Slide links, more or less the same thing. And image links, the same thing as well. Again, I'll show you an example in a bit. Then we have press releases and I'll have a video uh, just for them, but uh, let's just go over it uh, a bit fast. So basically a press release is when you submit an article to a syndication service and that syndication service spreads your article across the, over the whole internet. And if people who see the article find it interesting, they can put it on their website and of course a reference where it came from, which was your site. This is in theory how this works. But of course, if you're working with a plumber, for example, even if you post a press release about plumbing services, most likely the people who see your article will not link uh, to it because it's quite hard to uh, to get someone interested in plumbing. Okay, so uh, but I'll have a, I'll have a video detailing how press releases work uh, in the in the future in the course. But uh, for now, you need to know that a press release is basically when you submit an article to a syndication platform. And that syndication platform syndicates it and shares it 
all over the internet and places places it on other websites. Now, PBNs, private blog networks, you've probably heard of them, but basically uh, it's uh, where you build your own blogs and create your own network. But I'll have, I think I have three or four videos detailing only PBNs and explain to you what they actually are. So don't worry about them now. And then we have uh, expired domain links. And uh, I'll have a video on this as well, but an expired domain is basically a domain that was reg registered before and the person who, who had it stopped paying for it, so it went expired. So if anyone registered, registered that domain again, so if we don't renew the domain, it will be expired. And what we do here is we look for domains that have expired that had high metrics. Let's say, for example, there was a, a very famous dental clinic in New York City and the guy forgot to renew his domain and the domain got expired. What you would do is you, you'd you register that domain and then place a, a link on, the, on that site back to yours. So the idea here is that those domains are extremely powerful. You need to look for extremely powerful expired domains, register them and then link them to your site. But we'll have a, a video later on that and we also, uh, you regarding the PBNs and expired domains, you combine them together. So your the domains on your PBN are actually expired domains. But we'll cover that in the future, uh, in a future video. For now, I want to, I want to take you take you along the, these examples and let's start, first start with the comment links. Okay, so link examples. Uh, the first one I wanted to show you was a uh, comment link. So we're here at the, this blog, this SEO blog. And as you can see, uh, he wrote a blog post. And if you scroll down to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, you can see there are people leaving comments. Okay, and it's pretty simple. A, um, a comment link is a, a link from a comment. So on a blog post, this is a comment, which is a, which is a reply, and he left a link on the reply. So this is a comment link. Pretty simple, I know. Now, um, Web 2.0 links. Like I said, uh, WordPress, Weebly, Wix, these are all Web 2.0 properties. So Web 2.0 link is a link from one of these properties. So as you can see, this is a free WordPress uh, blog and they have a link here. Uh, I don't think it's here, but they might have a link, I'm sure they do, to their website. Yeah, so Leaky Gutters goes to, actually this one goes to WikiHow. Uh, yeah, right here, they have a link back to their company, okay? So this is a Web 2.0, a link from a Web 2.0. It can be WordPress, Weebly, Tumblr, Wix, etc. This was just an example. Now, a guest post. This is actually a, a new a Portuguese news site, okay? And what you do is, again, I'll have a later uh, later on. I'll have a video just on guest posts. But basically, you get in touch with them. In the, in this case, a news article website, and ask them if they can post a link on your site, on their site. And this is the the post they posted here, and with a link back to a site. And let's just see, let's just check, check if it's do or no follow. And it is actually do follow. And again, I'll explain this in a bit. Uh, now, edu and gov links. I only have here an example from an edu, an edu link, but as you can see, this is, a, this is a dot edu domain. We have here an article and then you'll have a link to their site, which is probably somewhere here hidden. Okay, so it's here. Okay, so this one links back to their site, okay? So this is a link from an .edu domain, simple. Now, video links. Again, like I told you, YouTube, Vimeo, etc. All these websites allow you, when you upload the video, to leave a link back to your site. Simple. Then you have audio links. So SoundCloud, for example, allows you to upload a track and then leave a link back to your website. Pretty simple again. Now, um, PDF links. So these again are PDF sharing sites, which allow you to upload your PDF and you include a bunch of links inside of them and upload them to these sites. Okay, you can also add a description, but the, the links really come from the inside the PBN, the, sorry, inside the, uh, the article. So if you click them, you go straight to the website. Now image links, again, it's the same thing. The same thing. You upload an image and you can leave a, a link on the description of the image. Pretty simple, you can use sites like Imgur and there are many others. And finally, uh, slide links, which, for example, SlideShare, which is a pretty known platform, allows you to upload slides, and you can upload slides and, and again, have links inside of, inside of the, the slides. I don't think they're clickable right here. I mean, I think they are. I think you have to be, do it in full screen. Yeah, exactly. It's clickable. Okay, so pretty straightforward. These are just uh, 
some of the links you can create. And uh, again, I'll have uh, we ha we're going to be having more detailed link, more detailed videos on this. But um, I just wanted you to know to have an overview of what types of links there are. Okay, and again, you don't you are not going just to create one link on each of these uh, uh, types of links. So if you if you're talking about uh, uh, video links, for example, you're going to create links from YouTube, Vimeo, Flickr. So the idea here is that you know what types of links there are and then search for platforms where you can get these links. Okay. And now something really important is uh, the, 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 and now something really important is uh, the distinction between do follow and no follow links. Okay. So um, when your site receives a link or a page on your site receives a link coming from another site, that page will receive a small push in the rankings. So imagine that each link we give, we, we have pointing to our site is worth one point. So basically the more points we have, the higher, the higher we will be. For this, <clears throat> Okay, so now something really important you need to understand is the difference between do follow and no follow links. So when a site, so when your site receives a link or a page on your site receives a link, coming from another site, that page will receive a small boost in the rankings. That's why we build, we build links. So imagine that each link that we have pointing to our site is worth, worth one point. Basically, the more points we have, the higher we will be in the rankings. And that's the idea. So a do follow link is links that count as points. As I said, the more points, the better. In do follow links, the power is transferred from the site that is linking to us to ours. On a no follow link, they don't count as points, but they can help generate traffic to the site and generate and also generate authority. So, for example, links from Wikipedia are no follow, links from Facebook are no follow, but they are still important because they, they pass on uh, authority. So you can ask me why have no no why do you have no follow links? Because it's good to have a mixture bef between follow and no follow links, so that Google realizes that you're not trying to manipulate the search algorithm, the algorithm. So you need to have a link building profile that looks natural. So like I said, links from Wikipedia, Instagram, Facebook, and many other authoritative uh, sites are all no follow. However, they're still very powerful. So basically in short, you need a mix of two, mix of do follow and no follow. And I'm gonna show you, show you an example uh, how to check if a link is do follow or no follow. So to check if a link is do follow or no follow is pretty straightforward. Let's just say we're here on Wikipedia and like I told you, Wikipedia has no follow links. Uh, actually, there's here a link to a website, to this uh, plumber co plumbing company, which is one of the, uh, I think, most famous ones in London, I think, yeah, established in 1979. Uh, so here you go, there's a link to their site. But how do you check it if it's do follow or no follow? Simple. Just uh, hover over the anchor text, right click and click inspect. This might be different on Windows, but it won't be much different. As you can see, it has a tag saying no follow. It's pretty simple. This is how you check if it's no follow or do follow. Uh, now, when it's a, when it's a do follow link, it doesn't say do follow. It just does not say no follow. And I'll show you here. So, for example, this site right here. There's a link, for example, right here, which links to an organizational um, website .org. So again, you right click it, inspect, and as you can see, you only have no refer and no opener, which are which it really doesn't matter. So you don't have no follow. Okay, so do follow link doesn't say no follow. No follow link says no follow. It's really simple, and this is a good way to check if a link, a link is do follow or no follow. And finally, you can outsource everything. So every link you saw here built, you can outsource it. So if you if you know of sites where you want to get links, you know there are good links, but don't want to have the work to place them there manually, you can pay someone to do so. Or for example, if you don't know of any sites that are valuable and need someone to search and find those sites for you, you can also pay someone to, to do that. So there are several, several platforms where you can find uh, people uh, building links and selling links from Fiverr to Upwork to Legit to Conquer and many others. Uh, but it's important to know uh, where to find good sellers inside these platforms. And again, like I said, I have, I have a, an outsourcing module later on in this course for you to understand how to uh, how you can actually buy quality links. Okay, just keep this in mind that you can outsource uh, the link building part, which is the most time consuming part. And yeah, that was it. Uh, I hope this made sense and I'll see you in the next video.